Happy day video, friends. Quick question. Have you ever met a woman who doesn't need more time in her life? I have yet to meet one. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk today about just a few more, just for just a few minutes about getting more time in your day and in your life. And I know this sounds crazy. I know just big deep breath. I know it sounds crazy, but colorizing your closet or organizing your closet by color can really help you save time in your day. So let's talk about that today. So organizing your closet by color saves you time in two different ways. One, it helps you find things faster because when you know where to look in your closet for something, you can speed things up. Now, for example, if I have all of my blue shirts in one place, then if there's no blue, if the blue shirt I'm thinking about is not there, then I know it's in the laundry. No time lost. I can move on to something else. Let me pick a different blue shirt that might look good with this outfit, right? And then I don't have to go hunting through the whole closet looking for that blue shirt. I know that sounds um, super easy, but I cannot tell you the number of closets I've gone into that are either over-organized or under-organized. And we'll talk more about that in just a second. So the other way it helps you is it helps you when you're putting things away. I know it sounds like it takes longer to put things away by color, but really it doesn't because you already know where it goes. I'm sure you've heard the expression of place for everything and everything in its place. It was one of my dad's favorites, right? And when we know exactly where something goes, it's a heartbeat to put it away. There's no hesitation. There's no, oh, it's gonna take me forever to figure out where to put this. It's just, oh, blue shirt, it goes with the blue shirts. Pink shirt, it goes with the pink shirts. It really does save time in the putting away as well. And kind of bonus number three is it's more visually appealing looking. And when it looks neater and more tidy, you're more likely to maintain that process. So what do I mean by colorize your closet? So um, I use what I, when I work with a client and in my own closet, when I work with clients, I use what I call a repeating rainbow method. First I organize by item and then I organize by color. So I put all the shirts together. I put all the bottoms together, meaning like skirts and then trousers, I put all the dresses together, and then within each category, I organize my color. Now, what did I mean by hyper-organized before, over-organized? So when I go into a closet and I find all the tank tops are hung in one category, and then all the short sleeve tops, and then all the long sleeve tops, and then all the sweaters, and then all, then we've gotten two broken out and it makes it harder because I have to look for that blue shirt or I have to look for a blue shirt in three different places. And if partway through the morning I discover there's a stain on this blue shirt, then I have to go back and I'm looking, okay, uh, am I going to switch to a di If all the blue shirts are together in one section, then it's easier. So the way I organize this is I go by light to dark and kind of rainbowish at the same time. So we start with, and you can see this here in this image here. I start with the white shirts and now I don't have any yellow or beige. So then I moved on to pink and then I would go on to red, maybe purple, blue, gray, black. So the darker, so all my shirts are here and then all my bottoms come next. And then after that, I put sweaters and dresses and jackets and so you could put your sweaters in the winter. I put my sweaters in with my shirts because I wear them like shirts. But in the summer, I tend to move them over kind of where the jackets are because they're less frequently grabbed, right? Now, what about colored or patterned pieces? Well, you can see right here, here's a patterned t-shirt. It's in front and it's mostly white because the background is white, so it goes in the front. I sort of hold it up at a distance. I go, what does that look mostly like? Does it look mostly blue? Does it look mostly red? Does it look mostly pink, right? So. You know, and I put the pattern pieces in front of the solids. Um, you could put them behind if that made you happier. I just like them in front because it's my reminder that I want to reach for those patterned pieces more often um, to add a little more life and a little more interest to my daily looks. But just some thoughts about closet organization. 
Um, and often people will, I get calls quite frequently, you know, people looking for a closet organizer. And I'm like, well, it's not exactly what I do. It is part of what I do as I work with a client. Like if we do a wardrobe edit, then yes, we will organize the closet at the same time. But do I do that on its own? Generally not. Uh, I would suggest if all you need is somebody to organize your closet um, and not actually help you figure out what styles and colors and things are best for you in there and help you create outfits out of what you already own and all you really want is somebody to come in and do the organization part, then call a, call a closet organizer, call a home organizer that specializes and does closets as well. Um, but I love to help my clients get their style and their wardrobes in the best shape of their life. Um, but yeah, and I do find, and just kind of relating to the quote over here on the side, the women usually love what they buy, but hate two thirds of what's in their closet. I often find that there's an awful lot of pieces that are not earning their keep. So just some thoughts. Maybe those, maybe those shouldn't stay and maybe you should just, as you're shuffling, go through this and um, get rid of those things that aren't uh, earning their keep in your valuable closet real estate. Speaking of valuable closet real estate, I will link a post or uh, a video about that up there. Um, I'll also link to the article that I recently wrote about colorizing or organizing your closet by color and why it's so helpful. And um, yeah, let me know, how do you organize your closet? Is it by color? Is it by item? Do you put your special occasion stuff in? Let me know how that works for you. Um, because everybody's brain works differently. I do find though that for a lot of people, this method seems to work really, really well. Love to hear a little bit more from you. And uh, yeah, stay safe and sound, sane and stylish. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me today because your time is precious. Any of you spend with me is a gift. If you ever found anything valuable here at Closet Play, uh, pop on over to the blog, like, subscribe, do all the goodness, and you will not miss any videos. I'll see you again next week. Bye.